here back with another tier list video and this time we're doing a popular franchise definitely one of my favorites from my childhood and still today Ben 10 in a tier list of all his aliens I'm talking OG series I'm talking alien force ultimate alien and even omniverse we're not touching the reboot cuz uh, I don't need to say anymore there's l let me just say there's definitely a demographic out there for the reboot and I'm sorry that there is because there's no way I'm ever gonna watch that there's no way it's at all good even though I remember hearing something about the reboot that kinda had importance but it's 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 whatever I'm never gonna watch the reboot now um, I will say so f um, so for some clarification uh, I finished the the first series of Ben 10 like obviously I finished that like 10 years ago like year when I was a little years ago and I rewatched it recently I say recently but that was like maybe a few months ago and I'm I currently actually on Alien Force. I finished Alien Force its entire run back in the day and I finished Ultimate Alien back in the day but I'm re-watching them to refresh my memory and I will say that I haven't finished Omniverse. I do need to finish Omniverse and you know get that off my list. So I, um, there's gonna be a few aliens I'm not 100% uh, gonna recognize but I have a little have a little guide right here and tell me which alien is which in case I forgot their names so we won't be too much in the dark anyway you see right here we have our categories S A B C and D and you're either about to love or hate my list <laughs> okay so starting off with Ghost Freak yeah, that was your name, Ghost Freak. Who doesn't remember Ghost Freak? He gave Ben some problems. <laughs> Where would I put Ghost Freak? He was an interesting villain. He was an interesting alien to Ben used in his arsenal. I'd say Ghost Freak is a B. He's a B for me. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't have Ghost Freak in my Omnitrix. Like he wouldn't be a part of my team, but Oh, Cannonball. I actually remember the episode when this came out. I actually really liked this guy. I was excited to see Ben get a new alien. And I was like, what? He can have more than 10 aliens? Well, I think when he got Cannonball, he still had 10 because he lost Ghost Freak. But like, I was like excited that he can have discover more aliens. Cannonball is an A for me. I really do like him. I really do like him wild vine i don't I see with wild vine i actually really enjoy wild vine he's like he's just so cool to me i like that you know he's he can stretch they can do seed bombs he can regenerate he's got he's just really cool to me i like i really enjoy wild vine like but do i hmm, i'm trying to think do i want him to be s or a how do i want to structure this tier list do i want to just put the ones that I just really like in S, like that are just, you know, my my personal phase. Or do I, or do I want to be a little bit more logical with? I think I'm gonna have a mix, but I'm putting Wild Vine in S. Ooh, what was your name again? The little electric dude. Um, oh, Buzz Shock. Buzz Shock is. Uh... I don't hate it. Now, the episode when Ben met those little aliens, they were real annoying. And weren't they inside the giant rubber band ball? Or did he trap them in the rubber? No, no. He trapped them in the light bulb or something. But they were trapped in the rubber band ball. I don't know why I remember that. But I don't hate I think he's okay. Yeah. I don't hate this alien. I think he's okay. He's going in C. Now, Arctiguana. That's your name, right? Yeah, Arctiguana. This one is pretty cool. Like, he has a great design, great powers. 
I, I like the voice actor who did this voice for Arct Arctiguana. He sounded good. I think Arctiguana is cool. I would have you. I I would. I'm gonna put you in A because I would have this alien. Let's see. Oh, Blitz Wolfer. That was your name, right? I see. I'm about to say you're one of my favorites, and I forgot your name. I just want to be right. Just want to be right. Blitz Wolfer is definitely up there for me. I just love this. Now, if we're talking canine aliens, Wild Mutt is definitely i feel like someone you want to pick but then like here's wild mutt's thing like he him and blitzwolfer do the exact same thing except blitzwolfer can talk and he can shoot those sonic waves out of his mouth i think they both have a good sense of smell but wild mutt's is better and they both can like scale walls like they're good climbers they're both fast they both have that enhanced strength but then that's the thing, yeah, him and Wild Mutt do the exact same thing, but he does a little bit more than Wild Mutt. And also, I like wolves more than dogs. Sorry, Charlie, my pet dog. <laughs> uh, I can't have a pet wolf. You know how big those things can get? But anyway, Blitz Wolfer, S tier. Ooh, Snarrow. <laughs> Snarrow is really cool to me. Like, like um, he, I would have him in my Omnitrix 100%. But I don't know if I want to put him in S. I'm okay with putting him in A, though. Snarrow's really cool to me. I know he's just, like, he just has the bandages that he can stretch, you know. He and he's He's got enhanced strength. I think he does have speed. I don't think he has regeneration, but I don't remember. I can... I'm using a different phone to look at the different um, aliens. I can just click on Snarrow to find out his abilities, but I don't want to waste too much time. There's too many aliens. What was this guy? Frankenshocks or something? What was his name? No, Frankenstrike. Frankenstrike is... Do I want to just leave him in D? Ben has lots of aliens that have to do with electricity. I don't know. I'll just... I'll leave him in D. I don't really... See, like, I care more about Buzzshock than Frankenstrike, so he can stay in D. Upchuck is actually cool. Upchuck is cool. He, he's he's that alien. He's going in B. He's going in B. Not much to really say about Upchuck. I don't like Ditto. I'll, I'm going to firmly say I don't like Ditto. Like, I will say when Ben first got this alien, when seeing him, you know, multiply and their personality is okay. I actually do like his personality. But this alien is just unnecessary. And then when we went to Alien Force... Echo Echo is just a way better version of Ditto, because like you know he can sp he can multiply. Echo Echo can multiply just like Ditto, but then Echo Echo also has powers, like he can he can do that sonic wave. Ooh, heat Blast, that's S tier. That's my boy. That's my favorite alien. I won't say this is this this is one of Ben's best aliens. But not, he, but not his ultimate best alien. He's my favorite alien though. Heat blast. Like I just like I just like fire, and he has one of the best designs. Eye guy. Eye guy is underrated. He's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. He he would definitely go on my team. I I give A on that one. Ooh, XLR8. Now, XLRA, he's goaded. He's super goaded. I think you have to put him in S tier. I have to. I think I have to. Like, no matter what, XLRA, like, that's just one of the aliens you you need to put in S tier. Wild Mutt. There we go. There's your boy right there. That is a classic alien. Literally classic. He's just so good. He's so good. Um, a, is, a, is, a seems appropriate. Diamond Head, here we go. Now it's a party. Diamond Head is the homie, dude. Like that's just like that's like one of Ben's uh, best aliens, honestly. Like you can go in A. Gray Matter, you know, don't underestimate Gray Matter. He is, he is, he is a goat. Honestly, A tier. Gray Matter, he may be small, he's not that strong, but bro, the mind. He's freaking he's freaking smart. 
Smart as heck. Love that dude. Rip Jaws. I actually don't care for Rip Jaws. I really don't. Maybe back in the day when I was a kid, I probably thought he was cool, but now he Ben has way more better aliens for like water fights or missions or whatever. Just, you know, like 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 he's got he's got amphibian. He's got Jet Ray apparently can go in the water because he's a Stingray. And um, he's got Water Hazard, just to name those three, way better than Rip Jaws. Stinkfly. Stinkfly's going in C because it kind of goes back to what I was with the Rip Jaws thing. There, ben has way more better flying aliens now from the original series to now. So I will say this. They they definitely did stink fly dirty in the reboot because why does he look like he looks so awful in the reboot? Like what? Like I've I've seen I've seen design changes before, but nothing like what they did the stink fly. That is downright disrespectful. Ooh, we're almost done with the initial ten, or the initial ten, the original the initial the original Ben Ten aliens. I meant to say. Forearms is the goat, bro. Like legit. This is this is this is your man. This is who you want. S tier. You want forearms by your side. Like legit. And upgrade. Upgrade. He's up there. He's up there. I'd put upgrade. Yeah, keep upgrading A. Cause because you know he's he's he is that dude. Upgrade is awesome. He's super awesome. And yo, and way big, way big is he? He is, he is in, he's incredible. To be honest, I'll say A tier. I don't know if I want him in S. Maybe we'll change the list later. Actually, you know, what? yeah, sure. Let's start off with Big Chill. I didn't mean to grab you, Big Chill, but we're done with the end. But we're done with the, the classic aliens. Now, actually, wait, is Spitter? Spitter isn't on this list. Cause like if we're talking classic aliens. I don't see Spitter. I know Spitter was from Ben Ten Thousand, but wasn't Arctiguana also from Ben Ten Thousand? They forgot Spitter. I probably would have put Spitter B anyway, B or C. So, yeah, Spitter isn't on the list, but he would be B or C. S rank definitely my man Big Chill right here. Big Chill love. That's like my favorite alien from Ben's Alien Force roster. Yeah, he's, he's, now, <clears throat> I also really do like Swampfire, he would go A, he would go A, Swampfire is really good, now, um, I think Heat Blast is better, but at Swampfire might have more hacks, because you know he can, like, he's got the plant and the fire aspect, he's, Swampfire is literally, if you put Heat Blast and Wild Vine together, so you would think I would like Swampfire more than Heat Blast and Wild Vine, but oddly I don't. Ooh, Echo, Echo. Dog, Echo Echo is actually very cool and dangerous, especially Ultimate Echo Echo. So we're going to put him S rank. Yeah, S rank. Humongousaur. Humongousaur is awesome. He is awesome. I don't know, I think I, I think I want to put him B, though. Now, hear me out. Humongousaur is one of Ben's best aliens, especially in, like, Alien Force. And don't even, don't even get me started on Ultimate Humongousaur. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't really... I don't think I'd use him on my team. So, yeah, just to, just to reiterate, S and A ranked, like, these aliens are aliens I would use on my team and everything else is just everything else jet ray where would i classify jet ray he is a good alien but i think i'd also just put him right here in b it's like i like jet ray but then i'm like eh i'm just like eh sometimes chroma stone where are the, you know what? 
I'll put him in A because I do like I like his abilities. You know, he's hard to he's hard to hit or hurt really because of his hard exterior, and he could absorb energy and fire it back. So yeah, I'm, he's pretty cool. Oh yeah, my bro, I just love I love brainstorm so much, mainly because of the way he speaks. It's like he's smart, but he has this like super sophisticated way of talking. It's just so it's so good to me. Is he A or S? Uh, you know I I enjoy him way too much. He's S rank. Ooh, Spider Monkey. I just really like I just really like Spider Monkeys, and I want him S rank. That's a good one. That's a good one. You know, he's he's literally, you know, you know he's he's kind of Spider Man. You know, there's a there's a Spider Man out there that's a monkey in the Spider Verse. So you know, it's like she's shooting webs. It's Spider Monkey. I like him. I really like Goop, but then at the same time, Goop, he like trips me up because he can actually be Ben's most dangerous alien. But sometimes I don't think Ben uses him right. Or maybe Ben doesn't want to be like a too ruthless. I don't know. But Goop, um I put him A rank. I put him A rank. Yeah. I actually really like Goop. I like when Alien Force first came out, I saw Goop and I don't know why I was just drawn to him. Goop's big weakness is that if you hit that little satellite above it, you know, because that's where the pilot is. Like, you know, that's why he can take damage because his he's not really the, the gooey part isn't really his body. Like it is, but it isn't. So yeah. Alien X, I actually don't like Alien X. So like Alien X I don't like what happens with Alien X. We, we if you can't get those other two entities that are inside of him to agree on something, then you're just stuck. So that's what I don't like about Alien X. Uh, yeah, yeah, keep him in D. Oh, wait, what's your name again? Because I like you. What was your name? Oh, Lotus Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lotus Star is super cool. Love those magnetic powers. Would Lotus Star be S for me, or... Uh... I don't know. Oh, Raph. Raph is definitely S because he's hilarious. Raph is hilarious. You're going to feel his wrath. Sorry, I had to do it. He's strong, he's funny, and, and he's always angry. It's, he's, it's like he's always frustrated. He definitely would, would be on my team. Oh, man. What was your name? Nanomech? Yep. Nanomech is cool. He's like, he's like Grey Matter, but if Grey Matter could fly and shoot little electro, electro beams or electro shocks, I like I like Nanomech, and uh, sometimes I like him more than Grey Matter, but you know, not all the time. But my favorite smart alien is definitely Brainstorm. Ooh, now we're getting to the good stuff. Well, we are we're already in the good stuff, but like these guys. I remember uh these guys in Ultimate Alien and getting introduced to them. They were awesome. I love Water Hazard. Water Hazard is S tier and he's just cool design, cool powers. Better than Rip Jaws <laughs> as a water alien. Bro, don't even get me started on Amphibian. Amphibian is so look how cool it looks, but that's S tier. I just love that design. It's a jellyfish, bro. It's a sick alien jellyfish. An armadillo. That was your name, yeah. Arm armadillo. It's pretty good. This one, he's definitely a nice construction worker. You know, like you, you, you want this guy on your team. Oh yeah, I like Terra Spin. Terra Spin's pretty pretty cool, bro. He's a hero in the half shell. Put him in an A. 
NRG is a really good alien. I know I'm saying that for a lot of these. I'm I'm somewhat trying to speed run. But I like what he brings to the table, especially like in the so like that's a suit. That is a suit that that alien race wears or or something like that. And then on the inside is a little fire guy, kind of like the human torch. So that's so that's pretty cool. He can come out of there and do some more damage. So yeah, I do like that. It's going in B though. Oh yeah, this is my boy right here, fast track. Fast track. I will say this. He's going in A, and like. You know, because, like, you know, he's slower than Accelerate. You know, Accelerate is, like, faster and, and you know, he's, Accelerate does look cooler, I will admit. But I got a soft spot for Fast Track. I don't know, I just, I think he, he looks like a superhero. Like, he, you know, he looks like he's a costumed wearing dude, like, when you look at his outfit. I think, I think he's cool. Oh, yeah, Clockwork. Clockwork, isn't he busted? I think so. Because you can manipulate, you can manipulate time. Now, is that manipulate time in general, or can you manipulate someone's uh, time? As in, he can accelerate or de or decelerate. Is that the word? Their age. That's interesting, though. I will go B. Now, what was your name, Chameleon? It's not Chameleon. Oh, Chameleon. Chameleon. I'm going to put you in C, and we're going to leave it at that. Oh, yeah, Edel. I will say this about Edel. They did you dirty in the uh, Omniverse with that redesign. But I'll put you in C as well. Oh, yeah, this little guy. What was his name? Jerry Rig. Jerry Rig. I don't like either of his designs in Omniverse or in Ultimate Alien. But he's empty, but he can, it's in his name. He can jerry rig uh, machines and make stuff. I'm just gonna put you in D. C. Uh, D. Wait, I thought Shock Squatch. Wait, was Shock Squatch from Ultimate Alien or Alien or or Omniverse? Because this list is telling me he was from Ultimate Alien, but it might be wrong. I I don't know. But speaking of Ultimates, we now have the Ultimate versions of Ben's other aliens. I'm not gonna lie. The design for Ultimate Swampfire isn't terrible, but I'm not, I don't like it that much. Well, if I don't like it that much, then I should go and see. The, uh, ult yeah, Ultimate Spider Monkey, I guess it makes sense he becomes a big gorilla, but I, I like Spider Monkey way more than Ultimate Spider Monkey, so... Ultimate Humongosaur is awesome. He is awesome. I'll put him right there in B. Ooh, yeah, Ultimate Big. I love how his how his fire is so hot, or was it his ice is so hot? Wait, was it that his ice was so hot it burned? He has flaming. He has freezing flames. It was. Epic. Ooh, Ultimate Echo Echo. Now that is a powerhouse right there. You do not want to mess with that. Also, S rank. Ultimate Cannon Bolt. Uh, I'd say B. Yeah, that's fine. Ultimate way big. What is he rep in America? America? I'd say ultimate way big is also B. Cause I think because like definitely his now in terms of power, obviously it's he's got awesome power. But um I'm just going off of 
and also abilities. He has better abilities when he's an ultimate. But, I mean, design alone, it's not bad. Like, obviously, it's not bad. I mean, red, white, and blue does work. I mean, heck, look at Captain America. But his regular just red and white and a little bit of black. That's not like that better. And ultimate wild mutt. It's just wild mutt, but he can talk. So it's uh, it's upgrade. He can talk. He he's got a tail. The the little mohawk thing. I mean he. I mean I mean it's all right. And now we reached omniverse. Hmm. So okay, that's shock squatch. I think he's cool. You know. I think I think he's all right. Yeah, yeah, B. B is fine. Now, feedback. Everybody loves feedback. If I feel like if I don't put feedback S rank, then there would be there would be lots of division here. But even if but even still, he he he's going in S rank anyway. And who's that blocks? The blocks. I'm sorry, I don't like blocks. <laughs> I, 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 his abilities are interesting. I will say that. I don't like blocks. Just wasn't wasn't a fan. Oh yeah, grav attack. Grav attack almost made my Omnitrix list. He almost did. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him in B. What was that guy? Oh, Crash Hopper. Uh. D. Oh yeah, Ball Weevil. <laughs> I like Ball Weevil for some reason. I don't know why. He's he's a little guy. He's a little guy. He's he's funny. You know, yeah, Ball Weevil <laughs> A tier. <laughs> it's either A or B. And it's it's funny. It's so funny, this little guy. I almost would want to transform into this alien as a joke, but then <clears throat> you can mess people up with this alien, but if you get hit by your own energy ball, that could also mess you up. <laughs> oh man. Now what is this? Walk a trout. Now I'm gonna need someone to tell me if this thing is busted or not because I'm just I'm just gonna put you over here because your design is not it but you're probably busted I don't know oh what the heck is this children's fairy tale pixie pesky dust I forgot what you did did you annoy people I don't know, but you're going right there. What the heck is this guy? Who is this? He looks like a janitor. Molestache? Molestache. Like mustache? Oh, man. It's going to be hard watching Omniverse or continuing watching Omniverse. I've seen only a few episodes, but I'm going to have to start over that series anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fact that he named this guy the worst... Anyway, he's going in D. His name is literally called The Worst. How is he not going to go in D? I like Kickin' Hawk. Kickin' Hawk is going to go in uh, going to go in A. That's a good alien. I mean, he's basic, you know. He's got he's got enhanced speed, strength, agility. I think endurance. He's good with his legs. Hence the name Kickin' Hawk. Who we got next? Is that Topic? What's interesting about Topic is we first heard that name in the OG series, but we never got that alien until Omniverse. That's crazy. Dang, Topic, I forgot what you can do, but I'm putting you in D. Astrodactyl. I really do like this one. Like, genuinely. So, you're going to go in A. It's safe to say that none of these last four are going to go S. None of these guys are going to go in S. This, um, frog, what was your name again, frog? 
Bullfrag. Bullfrag. You can go and see. I don't really see him as a B, nor do I hate this one. Atomics. Atomics is actually... Isn't he really powerful? And I do like his design. I think he's alright. I, 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 I put Atomics at B. And then after Atomics is... Gut... Gut Rot? Doesn't he have some type of... Yeah, his abilities are like... Gas... Gastro manipulation, something to do with like the gases inside your body, the stomach gases. Now I'll put you in C. And last but not least, vampire. Vampire is going in D. <coughs> and there you have it. All done. All right, let's look over this again, make some final changes, and then we'll have the finished product. I think I'm satisfied having everybody here in D. Yeah. Yeah, I'm satisfied with that. C, I'm satisfied. I don't think anyone needs to go up or lower. B looks pretty good. Nobody needs to go up or lower. Let me see, now for A... You know what I'll do? I think I'll just put like the ones that I like more than the others like in front of that one. So let's see. Huh, yep, right there. Yeah, fix that order right. And yeah, that looks good. And now S. S, this, yeah, this is, yeah, this is a uh, perfect right here. Yep. Actually, I might, you know what, let's, uh, yeah, let me, to give you a better understanding of what 10 aliens I would have in my initial roster, I will now put them in order. And now the S tier list right there is fixed. To, to give you a better understanding of my actual top 10 aliens, we have them right here. These are the 10 I would like to initially have if I were to ever obtain the Omnitrix. Heat Blast, Blitzwolfer, Wild Vine, Big Chill, Water Hazard, Amphibian, Spider Monkey, Fast Track, Wrath, and Nano Mech. Those are the initial 10 I would like to have. And with that being said, we are done with the tier list. Nice. Another successful one done. Yep, tell me what you think. Who's your favorite alien? What 10 would you have in your team? And if you disagree with this list, well, tell me why. But yeah, nope. Right here for S rank, these are the ones I think are S rank. And obviously the ones I think are A, I think they're pretty much as good as S. But, you know, I'm just, you know, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to play too many favorites, except for the initial, except for these, my initial 10 right here are definitely favorites. Anyway, I'm out. See ya. I never liked it.